13 and today is all about long tones. I got a request from David to do uh, talk about long tones and maybe do them in um, different dynamics and talk about the importance of long tones and how they can really help your endurance and also getting your airflow, getting your ears right. I do a lot of critical listening when I'm doing long tones. So I'm going to do them from a specific etude from the uh, complete method and progressive method for chromatic horn by Lambert. And I like to do long tones that are written out for me. You can do them, um, you know, just going throughout the entire range of the instrument, but sometimes it's nice to look at music and like change up what you're doing to make things more interesting. So this is a good exercise. Um, it is further in the book. Let's see. It is on page. I have this normally have this ahead of time, but I wanted to make sure that I got the title right because I barely, uh, I didn't even know that this method book existed. And so when I search for stuff for you guys, I sometimes like to go out there and do stuff that um, maybe no one's ever played before, not ever, but you know, that you haven't heard of. It's not common, like Coke Rush or Galley or um, the Maxi Malfons. So this is on page 19, which is also called page 9, on their IMSLP, IMSLP thing. So this is number one. So what I'm going to do here is it has... Um, varying dynamics, so I'm going to try to start very softly. I'm going to use my tongue um, and then go up to forte on to the next note, and then on that fermata, I'm going to hold it out as long as I can to niente. All right, so let's give that a go. Okay, so I have so many thoughts going on. So the first um, two measures that I just did, that's kind of the idea. Um, and then you see that the fourth measure is pianissimo. I was going back and forth in my head about whether or not I wanted to breath attack that note. Because sometimes if you want a true pianissimo, the tongue can make it a little bit more explosive than what you have in your mind. So if in your mind you have it um, without an articulation to just kind of sneak in there, um, then I would go ahead and do that. It's, people might think it's cheating, but it's actually more of like a tone color decision, um, because when you articulate, it can be a little bit explosive sometimes. So let's do a niente, um, pianissimo. Mm -hmm. Now my breath attack wasn't that good that time. Now you can hear the difference with the tongue. So I would want to be able to do both of them. So sometimes I would practice with the breath attack um, without that hard articulation, or I would practice with a soft, um, very loose, very relaxed articulation for a pianissimo. All right, let's keep going. So these notes 
are ending a little bit sooner than I would like them to, my face has stopped vibrating. And so this is the benefit of doing these long tones. I want to be able to play a note as long as I literally can dream of, okay, without my face giving up on me. And so part of that is practicing every day, practicing these long tones, and also making sure that everything is super relaxed and that your body isn't getting in its own way. So you have to have the endurance which means that you do have to practice every day and get the, the facial muscles to respond. But also you have to be relaxed so that the lips can vibrate. I hope that makes sense. All right, let's keep going. I didn't hear that note in my head. There's a train whistling another note. So that one was better for me. I My face didn't give out before I had chose to stop playing. Okay, so I really like to play with these extreme dynamics because it comes up in music a lot and it actually makes things a lot more interesting. So being able to have full control over your body and over what you are playing because of what you are hearing is what I am always striving for. So I'm not going to make you listen to all of these, um, but these are kind of the ideas that I would go for. If you are having an unclean slur, then once again, I would do some of the uh, flutter tonguing. <laughs> to make sure that the airflow is completely um, just rock solid. Um, that's what you're looking for. And I would not do long tones probably longer than 10 minutes. I just, you want to have a really strong stable sound but you also don't want to tire your face out and just hurt yourself for the next day so I would not do any more than 10 minutes and I hope this was helpful um there's not that much to say about long tones um other than I'm also very much critically listening for any warbles I just want a really clean straight tone all right see you tomorrow